Hallelujah. Welcome to another Tuesday night here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. Coming at you live here this Tuesday, the 21st. Amen. With your host, Pastor Benny Ramos, thanking the Lord for being here tonight. Amen. And all my brothers and sisters, as I come to encourage you, we're breaking love news here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. Hallelujah. That is so good. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Father. Well, this is your host, Pastor Benny Ramos here. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, and I want to thank God for all of you out there that's been praying for me. I thank the Lord that I'm here tonight. Amen. I had the flu and it was seven to eight days. But I thank God for those that have been praying for me. And uh, But I want to keep my covenant with you as I keep my covenant with the Father. And, and just being here to share the truth. Nothing but the truth to help me, God. Amen. And thanking the Lord for what he's done in my life and here at Love Wings. And I just want to be faithful. Amen. And again, I thank you for all your prayers. Keep us in prayer as I continue to do that, what God has called me to do, and my family, which has called all of us to share the love of God. Amen. So again, this is Breaking Love Live News. Breaking Live News here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. Amen. And amen. God is good. I'm just going to shut the music down there for a minute. Amen. And excuse my voice because it's been a little sore. I guess those know when you have the flu, man, that stuff really hits you. And it hit me for, uh, what, eight days, Natasha? Over eight days now. Nine days. But I'm grateful to be here tonight and keeping my covenant with you, my sister and brother. And I'm just putting you here on the laptop so please send a comment so I know that you're watching that encourages me to keep moving forward I really appreciate that and those that watch me on YouTube when I switch it over to YouTube that you would uh, comment on there also and let me know that you're watching and also all of those that are out there all of those that are out there and we could help in anything you you'll have our contact information which she's going to put up right now uh, i want to put it up early amen and she's going to put up our local address which we're right here on us one uh, next to um key, uh the chrysler dealership was on my right side here and the suites downstairs at uh, Cube Smart Plaza, you'll drive in and you'll see it. Uh, Love Wings Ministry Studios, Suite Two, Suite One, and and Suite Three, we're right there. Amen. And you can't miss it because we have stuff all over the window. Amen. And we're here to encourage and to build up and to share the truth, nothing but the truth. So help us, God, in our sanctuary on Sundays. We're also here on Saturdays. I want to encourage you to come out. Also, those that are out there that, uh, that know me to contact me, uh, I would love for you to be a part of a program here with me, and maybe we could do something together, and uh, I want to encourage all of you out there that have ministries or churches and you're doing something for our community or anyone that has a testimony that God has done something spectacular in their lives, which is, to me, any little thing, amen, because God is a good God, amen. <laughs> And we can share it here. We welcome you. And also, we know that on Saturdays, we have women at the round table. We also invite those to come out every second and fourth Saturday. We usually have the women at the round table. And on Tuesday nights, like tonight, I have, in, whether in spirit and in truth or breaking live news that we want to share with you as I'm doing tonight. Amen. Uh, the news of the love of God. Amen. And to encourage and to build the kingdom of God here on this earth because you're my sister and brother. And we want to be able to encourage not just by words but by actions. So we invite you 
Our contact number is there. Keep reaching out to people. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Bishop Duke, Heart to Heart Ministries. Uh, I know they had uh, last weekend a festival there. He had invited me, but I was too sick, and I want to apologize for that. I couldn't go, and he wanted me to do some music and stuff also there. But we couldn't make it there, but I plan to make it a date, sir, if you're out there watching me from Heart to Heart Ministry out in uh, Port St. Lucie. And also my good uh, brother there, Bishop Blake, out in uh, uh, International Church, out also in Port St. Lucie. Amen. Uh, and also uh, Greg out there, Pastor Greg. Amen. Uh, Gary, Gary, I'm sorry. My wife correct me. <laughs> Gary. Amen. Uh, let's give a shout out to him too. We're going to get together and his podcast and he's going to come here and be part of my podcast or our, 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 our lovely ministry studio. And that's what I'm talking about, getting together and doing what God's called us to do. Because, man, we hear the news today and all the things that are happening, man. It's like, wow, you know. And, and I want to be sincere that I know, and the God spoke to me as I've been praying and fasting these last nine days, amen, even though I was going through a physical thing, but I said, now that I'm going through a physical thing, let me get into the spiritual thing, because I have the time now. And what better time to spend with the Lord and get direction and new and, and, and new ideas, because God wants to give us new things. He doesn't. He wants us to have a pioneer spirit. I've spoken on that so much. But in order to do that, man, we got to step out of our comfort zone. And, and, and you know, for myself, I don't want to keep doing the same things over and over. I want to do new things. I want to meet new people. I want to meet new brothers and sisters and inspire them, encourage them, and they inspire me, encourage me to keep moving forward because the enemy, my brothers and sisters, is to is coming after us. I mean, he's trying to destroy the church. We, we see it. We hear it on, on the news. We hear all these mega churches. Well, all the, you, I don't even mention names, but you can hear this stuff. That's the enemy that comes to destroy the word of God, and that he knows the word of God, and he comes to destroy the house of God. We got to stand, my brothers and sisters. We got to continue to believe. Because remember, I was here the other day, and I was a very, very, and, and as I was meditating and, 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 and going through that physical thing, I was going also through the spiritual thing, and I said, Lord, give me some, some new insights because I want more. I want to understand what I can do, even if my body is not up to my spirit, but my mind, let me renew my mind, as your word says, day and night. And I started renewing my mind and gaining strength just by his word. Amen. Hallelujah. And some things I have read and some things I remembered, and I wrote this, and I want to share it with you, my sisters and brothers. We got to be about our father's business. And I'm talking about not a religious thing, man, a life thing. We're here to share life. I'm here to share life with you, my sisters and brothers. You know that the kingdom of God is righteousness. So we know that the kingdom, we keep talking about kingdoms. Everybody talks about kingdom. Kingdom this, kingdom that. The bottom line is to me, and, 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 and while I was going through this stuff, I was praying and fasting and asking the Lord, show me new things. I want to learn more, amen, so I can share it with others, amen. And, and the joy that you give us. But remember this, that the kingdom of God is righteousness, period. Amen. What does that bring when we have righteousness and we know in layman's terms that we're doing things right, we're doing things honorable, we're doing things in order with the word of God and with the Holy Spirit that's within us. It brings us peace and, it, and joy. And in the Holy Spirit, there is something very special about that righteousness, man. It's something very special about that righteousness. I see it as, you know what, uh, uh, the, the righteousness of God and the righteousness that uh, because of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that's coming together as one unity. Amen. And it says that when we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, what happens? When we do things right, what happens? When we uh, uh, are, are consumed by things in life, uh, whether it be physical, whether it be whatever, amen, you know what happens when we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness? Suddenly there's a peace. There's a normalness that comes. There's a fruit 
of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, in our lives, it starts arising. Amen. And I start remembering that, man, when Jesus came, he was calm, man, all the time. Amen. We, <laughs> we listen to music. We listen to oceans. Uh, it's funny. I, I, when I sleep at night, I put this machine on that it, 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 it's the, the ocean, you know, going shh. And it helps me sleep. It calms me down. It, you can, you know, it's, 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 to me, that's how the, 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 the Holy Spirit is and Word of God, if you can identify what I'm saying with, the, with this, my brothers and sisters. But, uh, uh, you know, I was saying that, that you know, you got to get into that, that realm. You got to get into that, that righteousness. Which when we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, some, uh, suddenly there's a peace. There's a normal fruit of the Holy Spirit that arises and lives within us. So, oh, hallelujah. Because I start remember right away that Jesus is the prince of what? Of peace. Peace. Amen. Right, Amen. Natasha? Amen. And when we make him Lord over our lives and uh, over everything in our lives in that relationship, we will have that peace because we're, we're in right standing. Amen. Integrity with, with God, you know? And that's how we get, you know, uh, uh, the kingdom of God, you know, in us. Amen. Uh, every day. Amen. And, and that peace. Remember, I remember Paul wrote that uh, to let us, uh, let us, who led us to peace, God had a passage, uh, a, a, a passage that all could understand in guarding our hearts and our minds. Because remember, this is what we got to protect all the time. This is why the Bible said we got to continue to renew this mind. We got to continue to renew this mind, my brothers and sisters. In order that we got to start thinking good thoughts, good things all the time, not negative things. We can't, this is why we got to be careful what we listen to and what we put into ourselves. If we really saying that we're kingdom children, we got to seek first the kingdom, which is the kingdom of God is righteousness. We got to be righteous as he is righteous. That's how we can connect. To having that peace. This is my interpretation and revelation of this. That again, that and Paul encourages us to let us that the peace that God that passes all understanding. I'm going a little fast because I get excited when I start talking about the stuff I learned. <laughs> Amen. Uh, that in our hearts and in our minds. Amen. And Philippians chapter four, verse six and seven says, "Don't worry about anything." But pray. Ask God for everything you need. Always giving thanks for what he, you have. Amen. Verse 7. And because you belong to Christ Jesus, God's peace will stand guard. Listen to this. Stand guard over your life. What? Through what? Through all your feelings, his peace can do this far better than a human mind can. Amen. So I think about that, and I was thinking about, because my wife was laughing, because she was saying something about that a sister was sleeping or something. She used the same thing on her phone, and the other sister was sleeping with her dad, uh, this uh, woman's thing that they were at. <laughs> and she said she felt like she was surfing. That's good. Amen. I got to give it <laughs> to the one who said that. And I said, you know, uh, she was, but what she was doing, she was, to me, Karen, well, the lady was seeking after righteousness, peace. Amen. This is what the kingdom of God is. Peace. He comes to bring peace, shalom. And we know that Jesus is the prince of peace. I say that sincerely laughing because, man, that's what we got to remember. We got to fight the stinking thinking that the enemy's trying to, to, to devour the church. And the church, my sisters and brothers, is you and I. Let us remember that. Let us love. Let us encourage. Let us build. Amen. And what God is. And that's the kingdom of God. Jesus reminds us that the disciples and their, of their positions, when he comes to God in prayer, we are to come as what? As children. 
Isn't that a beautiful thing? Jesus reminds that come to, he reminded the disciples to come to him as children uh, and of the most high. God is over our covenant, right to come to him, just as natural as a child. Man, that is a beautiful thing, right? <laughs> Man. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, Romans 8, verse 15 and 16 says, Then the Spirit, the Spirit that we receive is not a Spirit that makes us slaves again. Amen? And it causes us us to, not, to fear. Amen? The Spirit that we have makes us God's close, listen to this, close children. And with that spirit, we cry out, Abba, Father, verse 16. Oh, hallelujah. And the spirit himself speaks to, again, remember I said spirit to spirit? Speaks to our spirit and makes us share that, sure that we are God's children. Amen. Remember I said that there's something about that. That when we seek after righteousness and we seek really to do good at all times in our lives and be and honor our God, that and then the Holy Ghost connects spirit to spirit. The righteousness of God be and the righteousness that through Christ that sinner becomes together, joint together. Oh hallelujah. And there's a peace that comes. Oh, that no matter what circumstances that you might be facing. Don't seem that great. And no matter what the enemy that's trying to even use the very words to destroy us, we turn it around and have the peace because we, we have the righteousness of God. Amen? Amen? So again, he has made us, again, God's cho closest children. And with the Spirit, we cry out, Abba, Father, remember this, verse 16, and that the Spirit himself speaks to our spirit. And makes us sure that we are God's children. For me, in a regular New York style talk, I say, you know what? Forget about it. Amen. You can't touch this. Amen. Maybe my body might be weak, but my mind and my spirit are intact. They're strong. Amen. Why? Because I'm thinking righteousness. I'm, think I'm thinking what? The kingdom of God at all times in my life. And, and if it works for me, I know it's going to work for you, my sister and brother. Amen. Mm. Sometimes, see, the only enemy could come to you when you allow him to come in. See, we got to remember that we got to remember, seek the kingdom of God, be the kingdom of God. And our Abba Father is from spirit to spirit that protects us, amen, that gives us strength to stand in any situation that you might be in. As we pray to our Heavenly Father, recognize that we are totally different than any other, that He is totally different than any other earthly father. Amen. We are to pray our Father in heaven, not in, uh, not to the God within ourselves, as uh, some teach us. Amen. But remember, our Father who is in heaven. Amen. And I say that sincerely, man. And I, this is why I love the word. And this is what helped me and has strengthened me. And then God wants me to what? As he wants you to do. What, we, what he's given to us. He wants us to share with others. To be a witness and a testimony. In other words, simply with to serve God is to love him with all that we are. And obey by serving God is what we were made to do. As what? As sons and daughters. But our service must be active all the time. Active. I want to really repeat that. Active all the time because, man, there's a, remember that the devil's out there. He's dressed like a sheep, but he ain't a sheep, man. And they step right into church. Amen. To see who he can devour and trick and use the very words of the scriptures or things that happen to pollute our minds, to get our minds off the righteousness of God from spirit to spirit. And, I, and I'm sincere about this, man. And, 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 and God is telling us and reminding us to his word. 
We're to serve and be obedient, but to be active. Be sharing, man, with one another. Always speaking the word. Always <coughs> encouraging others. You see, that is the most important thing. Remember that serving by actions. Amen. Not by our sins or our, our rebellion, which has put us uh, uh, unable to have that peace that I'm talking about. You know, it is important that uh, the part of the gospel is that Jesus Christ, we can begin to serve God again with what the promise of being able to serve him in what? In righteousness. That is, see, that is the kingdom of God. Amen. You know, I, I'm here one person, you're out there another person, but what we encourage each other, right? The gift that I have, the, the things that I do. I hope that, that I, I know, I, I pray that they're encouraging you and blessing you because I'm doing a good thing. I'm reminding you, my sister and brother out there, as I remind myself, and God has given me an opportunity to have this place, and this is why we're here. I want to to be here. Because, man, I, as the Prince of Peace, I want the Prince of Peace always to be inside of me and to manifest out of my life. So I say that sincerely, my brothers and sisters. So, you know, we got we to gotta remind ourselves. Remember, Jesus reminded the disciples, their positions, that when we come to God in prayer, we are to come to him as children of the Most High. God is our covenant. Amen. Uh, and the right to come to him just as a normal child. Don't you know that, my sister and brother? I want to remind you as I remind myself. Amen. I want to repeat that verse again, Romans 8, 15, and 16. The spirit that we receive is not the spirit that makes us slaves again and causes us to fear. The spirit that we have made us God's close children. And with this spirit, we cry out, Abba, Father, and the spirit himself speaks to our spirit and makes us we're sure that we are the children of God. That's yes, you, my sister. You're, you're so valuable. And my brother, I, you're so valuable, man. And the things that we do, man, it reflects on our those around us. And how we live our lives. Just like some of these things that are happening, it reflects on so many. So we better be careful what we're doing and how we're doing it. Are we really saying that we are uh, the kingdom of children? And bringing the kingdom of God into this thing, into this world. Because to me, man, the word says simply, man. Again, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Spirit. There is something very special about that righteousness. When we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, suddenly is peace. It is normal fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And that's the truth, that when they see you and they see me, let them see the peace, which is the kingdom of God, the righteousness of God. That they see the peace in your eyes and in your life, amen, and in my life, amen. And then we can share that righteousness that God has given us with them, amen, and, and be an example. Because I tell people all the time, as I remind myself of this, and I tell my children, I said, wherever you're at, whatever you do, you're not just representing you, you're representing us as the Ramos family, but also the most important thing, you're representing that you are a child of the Most High. And then you, wherever you go, you bring peace and you bring joy because that righteousness, that kingdom is in you and that righteousness is going to illuminate out of your life. Amen. You know, and that's what it's all about. Amen. So then when we pray and when we lay hands on another, don't you know we're, that, that if we're in that peace and joy, it, it transcends into them. Amen. You see? Because God is God of his word. Amen. He said that when we pray and, we, and we're in right standing, spirit to spirit. Amen. And we pray and we lay, and we lay, lay hands on those individuals. Something t happens in the supernatural realm. 
I believe that with all my heart because I know it exists. I know you will know them, the Bible say, by the fruits they bear, by the peace and the joy that they have. And that's what you call a kingdom child, a person that has a, 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 a spirit to spirit with God and is a daughter or son that, you know, and that's the most important thing. Amen. Again, I come to share that with you t today. Amen. Uh, I don't want to be too long because I don't, you know, I'm going to overstimulate my body. <laughs> but I'm so grateful. Amen. My wife's going to put up our address one more time. Amen. I welcome you guys out to come on out. Amen. And if I can help anybody, she's going to put up another poster up after that. But here's our location. It's 5801 South. Highway 1, Fort Pierce, Florida, uh, 34982. And my uh, church number here is 772-834-9634. That's our cell number. You can contact us there. And if we can help with anything, please contact us. Amen. Also, she's going to put, if I can go to anyone's ministry, amen. I know I've been invited to a few this last week, but I was very ill physically. And I didn't want to get anybody else sick. Amen. But again, you see the information there. Please contact me. We can arrange a date. And also, I would love for you to come and fellowship with us. Amen. And, and be a part of what we're doing here at the studio. That's why we built it. We want to share it with you, my sisters and brothers. Amen. And come on out, man. Take an effort, whatever. And let me not say, it's not just on Saturday. Whatever day that you can make it, call me. We could always do it. Amen. Uh, whether it's in the evening. I meant to say that before. Whether it's in the evening, amen, and during the week, we can still do it here, amen, at the studio. Uh, uh, you know, I want to make it convenient for you because you're important, my brother and sister, amen. And I want to, uh, whether it's a testimony or you sit here with me, we'll, we'll do a, a, a broadcast together, amen. And, and uh, whatever you're doing, we want to acknowledge that to others out there also. That's my information there. Also... Uh, we have programs that we're trying to uh, work out, amen, to help others. And if you're doing anything for the community, amen, uh, let us know here. We're talking about Mary's home, amen, uh, sharing, uh, uh, saving lives two at a time uh, for pregnancy only, needed help, amen. And their number is 772-223-5000, 772-223-5000. Five thousand Mary's house, and there at uh, in Stewart, Amen. For any young ladies that are going through some stuff there, Amen, and uh, uh, they'll be able to help you, Amen. And we want to get connected, and also we know our sister Hazel. If you need food or anything, contact us here, or clothing or anything with the homeless. Let us know. You can contact us here, and we'll get connected with their ministry. They're out in also in Fort Pierce. We're all here working together as a team. This is, what <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Let us start working together and using the tools that God has given us uh, to uplift this city and this kingdom. Being kingdom children, going out and building the kingdom of God, which is, again, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we're walking in the spirit, in the supernatural realm. Amen. And also, my daughter wrote a book to help those, and she'll be coming here soon. Also, that we're going to have programs and seminars to help those with their financial needs. Amen. And uh increasing your credit score and all that but also you want to buy a home or whatever we want to do things to help our community that's what we want to do and this is not about selling anything this is about helping people amen you could take that uh natasha and also we'll be having again we've been trying to get movie night started again and we're planning this month but i want to share something too that and letting you know way in advance that on July the 12th, uh, well, July the 13th, which is a Saturday, and also we're going to have it that Friday night, the 12th, 12th, 13th, and Sunday the 14th will be ending. It'll be a 13-year anniversary service going into our 14-year anniversary service, and we're going to have friends and family, amen, come down. That's in July. We're going to send invitation out for those to please to come out and join us. Amen. 
to encourage us. Man. Can you believe that not? 13 years. Amen. And I'm so grateful. Amen. And I'm thankful for Full Gospel Tabernacle out there to be in a part because they're a great part of that too, my home church. Amen. And Pastor Carlos and I hope to contact them to see if some of them will come out. Amen. And we just want to have a time of celebration, thanking the Lord that no matter what, we're still here and moving forward. And we're looking for those that would like to join with us. Amen. We want to do film crews, to go outside and do film. Uh, we want to do stories, young people, music, instruments we have here. We want to encourage people. You know, uh, I need help. Amen. <laughs> to, you know, kingdom children that want to come to join with us, come. We're looking for those that are excited as we are to go out and share the message. Amen. Of love and using our gifts and whatever I've learned, I'm going to teach you here in the studio and music department and uh, whatever. We're here to continue to do that what God has called us to do. Amen. Right now, we're here. And also, we have in painting next month. We'll be setting you the dates up, too. Well, we come together in a uh, next door show. Do I have something there with the? Okay, uh, we don't have. It. I'll put some up later. And also, don't forget Sundays. We're looking. We come to a Sunday service. We start at eleven. Amen. To eleven thirty, we're in prayer, and then we start on social media from eleven thirty and in service, live service, uh, praise and worship. Amen. And then into the word, whatever the Holy Ghost lead. And I would love to meet you. And, uh, and, uh, and and even those that have been here before, please come visit. Amen. We love you. Uh, love Wings doors are always open to all of you. Always remember that. So from Pastor Benny here and Natasha, you know, we want to say I love you. I didn't see too many people come up. I guess maybe one or two. I'm not sure. Amen. I saw, oh, Gary. Pastor Gary. Amen. God bless you. Contact me, sir, when you got a chance. Amen. I'll give you a phone call, too, also. But I feel a little better, and I thank God again for those that were praying for me. It's been a rough week, and I thank God for you guys. Let's give a shout-out to Joey, Marilyn, all of them out there. They've been praying for me, and Kelly, everybody out there. I love you. Amen. And again, uh, from, from here, Pastor Benny, I just want to say I love you. I want to encourage you. And remember, remember this. That's the most important thing that I can share with you today that God loves you and no matter what you're where you're at right now amen no matter what has happened in your life all you have to do my brother and sister that's out there is just open up your heart sincerely ask God to come in and to be Lord and Savior I know you might have heard stuff of this or that you don't listen to what the you know we got so much social media that's good but that's so bad, amen, because it brings in the negative things of others, and, and we start judging people because one did this. We start thinking that everybody's the same. No, it's not. That's what the enemy's biggest tool that he uses to lie, amen? But there's good people and, and children out here, but get yourself in a local church, man. Accept the Lord, number one, first in your life, amen, and go to a local church. Get involved in the things of God. Uh, be an entrepreneur and things, man, and I guarantee you, as I said, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And what he's given me, he's going to give to you. In the Holy Spirit. Amen. And what he's given me, he's going to give to you. Amen. Amen. You heard that in stereo. Amen. So from Pastor Benny, I just want to pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you're in control of all things, my God. I pray for every ministry that's out here, Lord, and, and, and abroad, Lord, that you have ordained that are doing that which you call us to do. But, Father, I pray for unity, Lord. I pray that we come together as one, using our gift to further the kingdom of God here on this earth. So from Pastor Benny here and everyone here at Love Wings Ministry, we pray blessings on everyone. And we can't wait to meet you and for you to walk through our doors. Amen. We want to bless you. So from Pastor Benny and everybody here, I say amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Love you. Amen. <laughs>